Kendall McCollum and head coach Luke Regal, and we'll start with the opening comments from Coach Regal. Coach? Um, you know, I, I told the players after the game, you know, it, there were certain teams throughout the year that physically we, we didn't match up well with, and for the most part, you know, on those nights, our skill still got us through, you know, and it was one of those things where uh, maybe we could get beat up on the boards a little bit or or whatever, and, and because we were so skilled, we were able to, you know, compensate for those things, but on certain nights, I mean, you look at the teams that beat us this year, between Saginaw and Indianapolis and Ferris, I mean, those teams are, are big and physical and, and took away... Uh, the things that we've been doing well all year. You know, I, I give Saginaw all the credit. Uh, they had a very good game plan. Uh, they exposed our individual weaknesses. They sp exposed our team weaknesses. And uh, they deserve to win. Um, but overall, you know, again, and I, I know the competitors we have, and we wouldn't win if we didn't have them. Um, this group has a lot to be proud of. And uh, when you step back from it, you know, they'll, they'll look back on a lot of historic moments for the Parkside program. So I'm proud of them. I'm proud of the effort we gave. We never quit. Uh, you know, we had we had one chance the whole night, and everything had to go right during that run. And, you know, a couple balls didn't fall, and, you know, they a couple free throws bounce in, and, and then we just we didn't have enough firepower to come back. But um, incredible year. It's been a great journey, and, uh, you know, I'm proud of the team we have, and I'm proud of the players that are in this program. Questions? Mike? Um, and not, not this was a game when Coach talked about that run. You could have cut it to six. He had a drove in for a lap. You probably made that in a thousand times. And it just ripped out. I mean, what were your thoughts on the shot? Did it feel funny coming off, or is this one of those bad luck plays? Um, yeah, I guess we can call it, say that. Uh, came off on him. Came off. Good question. Yeah, you know, Andy. Talked on your career. Uh, you came in here the season before the team was, uh, you know, one in seventeen in GOVC play. You end your career. You didn't even lose seventeen GOVC games in your entire career. Just kind of speak about your time here at Parkside and kind of what you'll remember from being at Parkside. Um, I just want to thank the staff, um, the ones that were here and still here, and the ones that are not here. Um, just thank you for the opportunity that they've given me. Um, they saw something in me when I was in high school, uh, so I just want to thank them for giving me an opportunity to play here. Um, it was fun. Uh, I'm glad I can make an impact somehow, some way. That was the goal in mind, and my personal goal coming here to Parkside. Uh, just, just try to make an impact somehow, uh, some way, and whether that's wins or you know, relationships uh, with my teammates. So I'm just glad I can make an impact somehow, some way here. Another question? Jeremy? Sure. Frustrating was it and challenging with the way they were able to substitute so freely in their bench? It was 44 to 11. It just seemed like they just kept bringing wave after wave. And no, I, I think you know their depth was a strength of theirs, and we didn't have enough guys play well. I, I mean, throughout the year, with all our success, it was very rarely on one guy's shoulders. As great a year as these two guys next to me had, we always had three, four, and five play well, whether there was points, rebounds, defense, whatever. And, you know, even last night, I didn't think we had a lot of guys play well, but we found a way to win. And then tonight we needed, you know, we needed more guys to, to play to their potential, and we really didn't have that. I mean, whether it was the, the moment, the, how physical Saginaw was, I mean, whatever it was, we, we just didn't have enough guys play up to their potential. And... You know, when I look at our postseason losses, that, that, that's been the case throughout the years. I mean, you can look at our box scores, I watch the tape. You know, to win in the postseason, you need more than just your big horses to play well. And we, we didn't have enough guys play well, and, um, you know, it's unfortunate, but, and they did. I mean, they had, you know, they have a lot of depth. There's a reason they've, they've won a lot of games this year, and, um, you know, they didn't have to rely on one guy tonight either. Any more questions? Mike? Tendale is pretty physical out there. You I think you look pretty worn out from anything a little bit of a beating. How much did their physicality impact the game and their size? It looked like it was just really difficult um, to get the ball inside there. I mean, yeah, it was pretty tough trying to get to the basket and create for myself or others. But, um, I mean, they're just big and stronger than we were today. And um, it was just fun.
much great that we could find a way to get something inside. Any more questions? You just got a technical in the last game of the year. What did that just look like a situation where the ball is off them? And just yeah, I mean, listen, we, you know, we had a couple 50-50 calls maybe not go our way, and, and I'm looking to do anything to get a spark. You know, I mean, it, I could sit there and we could, you know, continue to just sit back on our heels or try to do something, and whether it was mixing strange lineups or whatever, you're just you're just trying to do whatever you can to fire up your team and. Um, you know, maybe at that time, I mean, I, I think it might have been my first one all year. Um, and so, you know, the, I probably deserved it, so that's fine. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's, you know, it had no, uh, you know, the calls had no factor on the outcome. They, they were the better team. Okay, thank you guys.